In their 108 to 100 win over the San Antonio Spurs on Tuesday, Trey Young had 28 points in the second half and 13 assists for the game. He took over in the fourth quarter. Let's break down some of the plays that made him and the Atlanta Hawks impossible to stop as they crawled out of a third quarter deficit to win this ball game. Let's start with the play the Hawks run to start their fourth quarter, something designed to get Trey Young going a little bit. It's a common Spain pick and roll where Young is the back screener trying to get him to pop or get a teammate open. When that fails, he does a great job of flowing into the next ball screen, getting the switch he wants, and pulling a ridiculous shot from three. Gay needs to do a better job of getting a hand up, but Young immediately cuts the deficit to five. Before the cameras can even catch him on his next possession, Young is down and hitting a three off of a drag ball screen. Now Young is hot, and the Spurs are starting to press a little bit. Watch here as DeJounte Murray starts to try to force him over the top of ball screens and stays a little bit attached. That's not enough for Young, who threads the needle on an incredible cross-court pass to find the open shooter. Even though he doesn't score, it's the right play by Young. Now we get to see the brilliance of Young as a change of tempo scorer as the defense starts to press up on him. He notices that guys are lunging at his three-point shot, so that small shoulder fake leads to a give and go that allows him to get momentum downhill as he attacks the rim. A crafty move with the ball, and he gets a shot up. It doesn't go in, but he's clearly toying with the entire San Antonio Spurs defense. The Spurs eventually settle in, weather the storm, and build a four-point lead, but watch this possession pretty carefully. As the dribble handoff occurs on one side, the big man raises as the ball gets passed to Trey Young. Because Young is so high and is being hugged, Pirtle, the Spurs big man, can't get high enough to hedge on this screen. Over by the coaching hash is still in Trey Young's range, and he gets an open look. Young gets a breather here, as he's been playing through most of the game, and to the Hawks' credit, they actually take the lead and come from behind while he's off the floor. He gets going right away out of a baseline out-of-bounds situation where he gets a floating opportunity, and while he doesn't make it, it's the right shot for him. The result of a scrum is a jump ball, and, well, I'll let Trey Young take it from here. He comes out of there with it. Got Aldridge on it. Sidesteps it. Backs up. Goes to back to work. Shovels at the memory! Are you kidding me? Let's go slow motion and zoom in on this treachery. The balance and pace with which Young handles the ball, his shoulder fakes, and how he extends his crossover dribbles is ridiculous. But let's rewind that to see just how the Hawks score. It has to do with the eyes. The eyes of the entire Spurs defense is actually on Young, which then allows DeAndre Bembry to make a loop cut and get an easy dunk at the rim. I love that Young's eyes are up through this possession and he's unselfish with the finish. It's a five point lead for the Hawks now and they know that Young is gonna get a little bit extra attention. So he needs a teammate like Vince Carter to step up and make a big bucket. But franchise scorers and number one options like Young can't disappear in crunch time. Remember that set we told you to watch for before with that dribble handoff and the big sprinting into a cut? Now the Hawks have to run it differently because Patty Mills is hugging Trey Young so far above the line. The direct pass to Young isn't there, so instead the Hawks are going to flash the big man and hit him above the high post. As he catches it, he's looking for Trey Young on a back door, a blind pig action. But Young notices that Mills is starting to overplay it, pops it back, and gets a handoff and a screen middle for the perfect three. Now down seven with only three and a half to go, the Spurs have to press. Patty Mills is starting to pick up Young in the full court trying to turn him and exhaust the second year point guard. But watch for that exact same play again as soon as we get into the half court. The dribble handoff, the flash from the big, and the overplay. Mills is once again hugging Young and is prepared for the blind pig back door. And this time, instead of trying to run a handoff for Young, the Hawks utilize him as a screener. Knowing that the Spurs won't help an inch off of Young, he hopes that this screen helps eventually get him a little bit more open. They fake the dribble handoff with the man from the corner and curl him using a diversion to get Young the ball back in his hands. Once he has it, he treats this like a pick and roll dragging LaMarcus Aldridge, the hedge defender, far away from his man. Now Young just reads the play going to his left and finds the wide open shooter in the corner. Even though the Hawks don't score, this is playbook symmetry meeting great skill from Young. 
Now Lloyd Pierce and the Hawks shift to the type of strategy that every team uses late in games. Put the ball in the hands of your best player and let him run in the pick and roll. Here he creates two free throws for his teammate. Why the pick and roll? Well, because any off-ball actions give San Antonio the opportunity to deny Trey Young. Patty Mills does a great job here taking them out of whatever set they call because he's in too young and doesn't allow him to get the basketball. Trey dances to get open with a sharp cut and eventually gets it, but he's met with a sideline trap. Young is an exquisite passer and finds the right lane to get out of the trap. But the possession is not over for Atlanta. They have to inbound it on the baseline. And here, they get Young going to the corner and let him do the rest. If that wasn't the dagger, then this possession must be here, as the Spurs immediately jump trap Young as soon as he crosses half court. A savvy passer, he makes the play out of it to the middle. But Atlanta eventually works to get the ball back in his hands. Trey is patient and then delivers one lethal blow as the second trap comes. A nasty hesitation dribble at the top of the key that allows him to keep going and finish at the rim with his left hand. This is a dominating and complete quarter of basketball.